from the UFC president shutting down any chances of the ultimate crossover fight for Bones to the heavyweight champ dropping hints about retirement, here's how Dana White is shutting down John Jones' UFC future. For starters, White was never going to agree on a crossover fight anyway. On top of that, after how things went down with Francis Ngannou's UFC exit and seeing him sign with a rival promotion, it's clear that Dana won't have him back, especially for a mega fight like this one. Not only that, but during their round of hopeless negotiations over a new contract, White offered Francis 8 million bucks to fight Jones. But the Predator had other demands, and no matter how much coin White was willing to pour into the deal, it wasn't going to be enough. After Francis left the UFC, fans were hyped for a crossover fight between the two MMA legends. But before it got out of hand, Dana said he wasn't open to the idea of a crossover fight between them, even if it was going to be one of the biggest fights fans had ever seen. Think about it. Jones is the latest heavyweight to clinch gold, right after Francis vacated his belt to get out of his restrictive UFC contract. And even though they never faced each other during their time in the UFC, they talked about a potential fight during a tense showdown and face-off at PFL 5 in June of 2023. But if there's one thing about Dana, it's that he's never going to bow down to this fight, especially after the fact that he offered it when the time was right, but was rejected. And the fact that Jones wants the fight, too, won't change Dana's mind. As for Francis, he doesn't give two shits about what Jones or Dana have to say about him. In fact, he's the one who hyped up the fight in the first place back in 2021, but Jones was on hiatus and nowhere to be found. When Jones was finally ready to make his comeback to the UFC, Francis had new goals and demands, things Dana wasn't ready to accept, so the Predator found another promotion that would. And it's not only about setting up a fight between Francis and John, it's also about the UFC having to team up with the PFL. But is Dana ready for that? Of course not. And as much as Dana might be on board with the idea that Francis is his biggest public enemy, when it comes to the UFC's negotiation problems, fans don't have to go all that far back to get a completely different view of events. In 2021, when Jones was in the midst of his break from the cage, Dana was ready to abandon the Naganu vs. Jones fight entirely because he wasn't ready to deal with Jones' outrageous salary demands. So he shifted to a fight between Derek Lewis and Francis and claimed that Jones would come around soon enough. But when Bones finally did, it was right around the time that Francis had already backed out and the UFC needed someone to fill his vacated title. At that point, Dana had no problems with Jones jumping back into the octagon against Cyril Gaon. That's why I wouldn't be surprised if Dana goes back on his words once again and gears up for a John versus Francis fight when the time and money is right. But no one will be waiting around on Dana to make up his mind about it. And if anything, Bones and the Predator are already seeking out potential opponents who are ready to fight and put a huge offer on the table. As for Jones, he's expected to return to action by the end of 2023, probably against former heavyweight champion Stipe Miocic. Right after his victory over Cyril at UFC 285, the greatest fighter in light heavyweight history is gearing up to build a new legacy. And for his first title defense, things aren't working out with Miocic. Plus, Naganu's out of the UFC, Gon was already crushed, and there's no other fighter that's a good match. And while the rumors are already going around, the UFC's having a hard time bringing Miocic to the bargaining table, which means Jones might have to switch to a fight with someone else, like Sergei Pavlovich. But Dana's on a completely different page about that. Despite the war of words between the two fighters and Jones accusing Mayochich of dodging him in 2022, Dana shut down Jones's claims about the silencer. So it's obvious that Dana has a lot of respect for Miochich. Dana says the silencer never backed down from anything ever and is considered one of the greatest heavyweights of all time. Stipe has no reason to back down. And Dana's not wrong. Stipe had an incredible career, and a win against him is a game-changer for Jones. But even if it would be one of the biggest fights in UFC history, Jones might have to move on to other opponents. And here's the deal, with Dana's contradictory statements. Francis Ngannou or Cyril Khan to John Jones, it's, you can't. You can't even compare him to this guy. I, I, he went in there and finished... I, I don't know how you got... I, I still can't believe what I saw. Fans are sure that his hatred for Francis trumps the idea of a crossover fight. Because back in June, Dana offered the WBC heavyweight champion, Tyson Fury, a mega fight offer with Bones. 
that offer was just another way of stepping on Ngannou's toes, because Francis was the one who reached out to Fury for his boxing debut in 2023. Is this your next fight? I'm the boxing heavyweight champion, the UFC heavyweight champion. He's in great shape, look at the muscles on him. And that's exactly when Dana jumped in with the same offer for Jones, hoping Fury would move on with the UFC. And if there's one thing we know about the Gypsy King, it's that he's super unpredictable and known for backing out at the last minute, if every little thing on his contract isn't just right, especially the money part. Sure, a UFC fight would have promised Tyson a boatload of cash, but he wasn't ready to let go of his biggest advantage, fighting in the boxing ring. There's no way in hell Fury was going to fight in the cage, but he was ready for an offer in the ring where he and everyone else knew that he'd destroy Jones. Dana knew it too, which is why he wanted to work within his fighter's comfort zone and called Fury over to the cage. But the Gypsy King was quick to turn down the offer and move toward a potential fight with Francis in the ring instead. Francis has brass balls. He isn't afraid to dip his toes in the boxing world, and beating Tyson would cement his legacy in the ring forever. Meanwhile, Bones is ready for a UFC fight or even a crossover with Tyson so long as it's in the ring. But it doesn't make any sense for Jones to fight Fury in a ring either and risk losing everything in what could be a humiliating defeat for Bones. And now, after all the back-and-forth BS, rumor has it John's looking at retiring after his next fight, whether it's against Miocic in 2023 or another fighter in 2024. In April of 2023, Bones hopped on Twitter and said a fight against Miocic at Madison Square Garden will mark the end of his career. Fans aren't happy to see Bones call an end to his legendary UFC career, though. And when fans commented that they weren't ready for him to retire, he replied, I'll keep fighting. He was either hinting that he's retiring from the UFC and not MMA, or he meant he'd keep fighting in some metaphorical sense. We all know that a fight with Miocic hasn't happened yet, and I'd love to give you some hopeful updates from the negotiations to hype it up, but I can't. And honestly, I wouldn't be surprised if Bones moves on to negotiations with other fighters, and once he's a free agent or signs with another promotion, he'll finally have a chance to make the fight with Francis happen. For now, fans are gearing up for John's last fight in the UFC, and they're hoping it's a mega fight against Francis in 2024. At this point, I only have one question for all of you. If Francis and John step into the cage, who's your money on? Man, that's such a tough call. But if I had to pick, my money's on the Predator all day long. So there you have it. From the heavyweight champ dropping hints about retirement, to the UFC president shutting down any chances of the ultimate crossover fight for Bones, that's how Dana White's shutting down John Jones's UFC future.